talk about the power of the different views in Airtable. If you go ahead and expand out this sidebar, you can see that this template came with a ton of views already included, which is another reason it's a really good one to start with. These are very easy to customize and it, a lot of the work is already done for you. Again, as you can see, my screen looks very different from yours. Let's hop back over to the bug tracker. Let's look at the larger version here. So as you can see, these views are very different than the views that I have, but all I've done is a little bit of adjustment. So if we come over here, we can see the first thing I have adjusted is the form. I wanna dive into forms next, but first let's look at the power of the different views here. So remember I said we added feature requests and bug reports. Well, this table is a little bit overwhelming with having to look at everything. Remember when there were 20 different records in here, it looked like a lot of information. The nice thing about these different views is you can quickly filter them down to look at a specific thing. So I took one of the views here and renamed it to all feature requests. What I did was take bug tracking and duplicate it. So to do that, you would just click the three dots and hit duplicate view. Now when you have the duplicate view, you can very quickly apply and adjust filters so that it meets your specific needs. So once you've done that, I simply chose the feedback and picked feature request. Now, every time a feature request comes in, if I'm the team member handling that, I don't need to look at this full feedback view. I can just pop over here to all feature requests and start working on that. The beauty of these alternate views is that you can also make changes here and it'll update the global, uh, the global sheet. So maybe this is notified user and they opted in for marketing. Great. So now we have updated that. Let's go back to our full view and we can see that for that feature request, Notified users is also complete here, as is opt-in marketing. So the changes that I'm making in the additional views affects the global view. It's really handy to be able to look at much smaller slices of data and still update the larger database. So lots of really great things with views in here again you can go ahead and take a look at these adjust them as you need to for your purposes this template came with a lot of base views which is fantastic if there is a, a view that you want to create and it doesn't exist let me walk you through how to do that as well so for me i think it's really powerful to show a gallery view sometimes even this just becomes a lot of data and very overwhelming and perhaps you just want to look at the critical feature requests by team member for that i recommend a gallery view so you can come down here and click gallery and now you can see you very quickly have these nice little cards that you can customize so we'll just click on customize cards and pick what we want to see we want to see maybe who it's been assigned to, how many days old it is. Maybe we don't need the attachment. Um, so we could, you know, take that off. Or maybe we want to have, you know, whether or not the customer email is on here. Whatever you would like to see, you can go ahead and put that here. So now you have a quick snapshot of what's going on. The cover image doesn't need to be attachments. You can have no cover so that that is less real estate for you. And just as the other ones, you can add a filter or copy from another view. A lot of power there. If you just wanted this for feature requests, now everything you've set up there can be copied. Perfect. Now you have the same information in a quick view here that exists over in our uh, larger database view. So use your grid, your gallery, Kanban view, which is the bug pipeline here, really to your advantage and set up the views that work best for you. Next, I want to talk about how to create a form.